in the last video I did on Steam's most followed games, I covered a game down here, Victoria 3. I'm, I'm hoping that it will pop up on the screen right here. And maybe for the first time ever, I didn't lose a subscriber. Indeed, I actually gained a subscriber. So let's keep that trend alive, I guess. And if you are watching, maybe consider clicking on that button. But today I want to look at a game that's confusing me. It's the number one most followed game on Steam called Party Animals. And it actually has 370 thousand followers and indeed if you look at the trend here over three thousand followers this week i'm pretty impressed with mana lords keeps jumping up the table so let's have a look at party animals and I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit about why i'm surprised i'm confused maybe you can enlighten me like why is this game the number one most wish listed not wish listed followed game it says it's top five in wish listings it actually has more followers than hollow knight silk song which to me, would be one of the most anticipated sequels of any indie game ever. But let's have a look. Party Animals on Steam. You'll see here, no release date at all. It's developed by Recreate Games. Let's have a look at Recreate Games. They are famous for nothing. They have done Party Animals and nothing else. No other releases, no discounts, just this game. Let's go back and have a look at the publisher's source technology. They have done Skybox VR video players. They have only one upcoming release game. You know, can you see why I'm getting a little bit confused why this one might be so anticipated? So Party Animals, no release date, is a casual, fun multiplayer game. Having a look down, I looked in the devlog earlier and it looks like the game's into the final stages of development. So I would be anticipating a release date at least soon painfully great memories with your friends mess with your friends in a hundred different ways you can see from this picture here we've got ragdoll mechanics looks very gang beast teamwork maybe a mixture of gang beast and four guys i'm not thinking of four guys human fall flaps the game i'm thinking of um but let's have a look at the trailer but even that you know on the steam page we have one official trailer that's not common. Normally for some of the upcoming games, you know, like I'm sure Silk Song would probably have like five, but I don't know. I hope that's right. I didn't check that. A minute and 32. Let's have a look at this trailer for Party Animals. It's a new world with new rules. Now nothing is off the table. Winning this battle will take a new breed of fighter. Wait. So I haven't played Gang Beast for a while, mainly because I have an issue with the servers being really slow, but this game looks like Gang Beast with weapons. You know, it's got the same mechanics. It's got that same kind of character design. Yeah, it's cute, um, but really familiar. I like that. That was a good, that was a nice little touch there. Steam, obviously. Now, like 100%, it's got cute little graphics there, although I wouldn't say they're amazing. These types of games are fun, no doubt, and they become kind of like like classics. You know, you think about how, how Fall Guys became like the most talked about game for about a month and then people stopped playing it. I don't know if there is enough here yet to suggest that this game should be the number one most followed game on Steam. 
I have a suspicion. I think I might have heard that it's got something to do with streamers. You know, maybe a few big streamers were given a demo build or something. If you know any more than I do, let me know because I'm really curious. I'm not saying it's going to be bad. Indeed, I'm probably quite sure it's going to be a lot of fun. But most followed game on Steam, I'm not so sure about that. Hey, let me know what you think.